Do you currently sell courses with Teachable but want to drive even more sales? If you do, keep watching this quick video. Teachable is perfect for selling online courses, managing student progress, and much, much more. But how can we monetize our students after they complete our Teachable courses? Well, today we'll reveal a simple growth hack that many Teachable users are doing to build up their brands and increase sales. But before diving in, please take a moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. So how do we drive more sales after students finish our teachable courses? Well, the answer is simple and easy for anyone to set up. The way to continuously drive sales is by automatically adding teachable users into our own member community website. Now, this is the easiest way to keep them permanently connected to our brand. And the quickest way to launch a community site is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, we can gather contacts into one platform, sell more services, including monthly subscriptions, and have a professional directory of all of our students where they can manage their own profiles and interact with each other. And best of all, you can show off the size and power of the community that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun part sending our teachable user data to our Brilliant Directory site using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this same method works with any other integration platform like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. So here we have our teachable site where we are selling courses on how to play guitar. Now in this example, we are going to sign up for our course on Teachable, and then we are going to automatically create a member profile for that user inside of our student community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here we can see what that student community looks like. We have all of our different users and students here. You can see we have right now just over 60 different students inside of our community. So the very first thing we want to do to get started is head over here to Zapier and get logged in. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Zap. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Zap. And that's going to bring us to the creation wizard where we first need to choose a trigger. In this case, since we're using Teachable, we're going to go ahead and select Teachable. Once we do that, we now need to choose an event. For our events, we are going to scroll down here and we're going to go with new user. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click on continue. Now, the next thing we have to do is actually connect our Teachable account. So we're going to click this little drop down here. And then we're going to connect a new account down here at the bottom. And that's going to open up this pop-up window that is going to ask us for three pieces of information, our email address and our password and our subdomain. So the email and the password is going to be your email and your password that you use to log into your Teachable account. Now for the subdomain, you can actually head over to your Teachable login information, your admin area, or even your Teachable website. And inside of the URL box, we're going to copy everything just before the dot teachable. Okay. So in our case, it's going to be brilliant dash directories dash S dash school. Okay. We do not want to copy the period. So we're going to copy that information. We're going to paste it in there just like that. Then be sure to enter your email and your password and then click on yes, continue. Assuming we entered all of that information correctly, we will now see that our account is connected. And now we can click on continue. And once we click on continue, everything is connected. We can test the trigger just to make sure everything is integrated successfully. So as we can see here, a student was found. It has the information that we entered. And now we can click on continue and go to the next step. Now for the action, what we want to do is use brilliant directories. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, once we have brilliant directories selected for the event here, we are going to create a new user. So we're going to create user that's going to load up. We're going to click on continue. Next, we need to connect our account as well, just like we did with Teachable. So we're going to go ahead and go to connect a new account. Once again, it's going to open up a brand new window. And this time, they need two pieces of information, our website URL and our API key. So what we can do here for the API key, we can actually click on the API details hyperlink right here. And that's going to open up and bring us to the page that we need to go to inside of Brilliant Directories, which is our API keys. Now, up here at the top right, we are going to generate a new API key by clicking this button. We need to give it a name. So I'm going to call mine Teachable 1 and save API key. And once we save it, we can now click this little button right here to copy that API key that we just created. So once I have that copied, we're going to go back to our window and we're going to paste it inside of the API key box. Next up, 
for the website URL, this is going to be the website URL of your Brilliant Directories website. Now, the easiest way to get this is to go back inside of Brilliant Directories and up here at the top right where it says visit website, we're going to click that link and that's going to open up our website for us. And with that, it's also going to give us our URL up here that we can copy. So we're going to copy that entire thing. We're gonna go back inside of Zapier and we're gonna paste it in that box. Now what's important here is we only want the domain name up to .com. So anything after .com, we wanna delete. So we have slash home. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that and we wanna end it with .com. And then we're gonna hit yes and continue and that is gonna connect us. And once that closes out, we're gonna jump back over here to Zapier and that is now connected, perfect. So now we can click on continue and now we need to set up our action. Now here is where we can map the data that we collected from Teachable and insert it into Brilliant Directories automatically, like their email, their name, and things like that. So for example, for the email, all we have to do is click inside of this box and it's gonna show us the different information that was collected inside of Teachable. So as we can see here, we have the user email, so I can click on that and it's gonna automatically populate it for me. Now, the next piece of information that I want to map together is the student's name. So I'm going to scroll down here to where it says first name. I'm going to click inside of here and inside of Teachable, they actually call it the username. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that so I can link their names together. So we have their name, their email address, and you can map together any other information that you collect from your students and it will be automatically transported over to Brilliant Directories. So once you have all the different data mapped together that you want to collect, scroll to the very bottom and click on continue. So here, we're gonna go ahead and click on continue to save all the information that we are collecting here. And once we save that, we can actually run a test and Zapier is gonna run through and just make sure everything works properly and let it do its thing real quick. And if it does work properly, as we can see, a user was sent to Brilliant Directories and now we can actually publish this Zap so that now it's working, it's on, and it's gonna happen automatically anytime someone signs up for our course inside of Teachable. And that's exactly what we're gonna do next. All right, so here I am inside of my Teachable course where I'm gonna sign up. Let's pretend I'm a brand new student for my full name. We're gonna say Jackson Smith. We have my email address. I created a password and I'm gonna click on sign up. And that's gonna take me inside of the course itself, inside of Teachable. There we go. So now I'm watching the course. I'm a student inside of the course. But now let's head back to our student community and see if Jackson Smith was automatically added to that community. So here we are, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna refresh the window here and we should see Jackson Smith right here at the beginning. And yes, we do, perfect. He was automatically added to my student community with his name and with his email address. And there we have it. If you have a Teachable website, this is a must have integration that you'll wanna set up. To start monetizing your Teachable members with a brilliant directory site, just click the free trial link in the description below. You'll also receive full access to all the growth strategies that we've got to offer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.